Hello and welcome back to another episode of Foxy No-Tales Minecraft Adventures here inside of... Oh my goodness, my voice. Oh, I'm sorry. I've got... I'm not very well. I'm not very well today. I've woken up with the worst throat and a little bit of a runny nose and it's gross and it's horrible. But I'm still going to record an episode for you because otherwise I feel okay. But yeah, I just feel... Oh, what's that behind me? It's a fancy desert island. Where did this come from, Foxy no Tell? You've not shown this in the video. No, I haven't. And my... <laughs> <laughs> do you know, I practiced this boat stepping stone thing before I started the episode to make sure I could do it. And I did it perfectly. I nailed it all the way across and I just completely messed that up then. Yeah, I built this outside of the episode, ready for our tree of life thing that we're doing. Now, we're not doing a tree, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, what tree of life thing are you talking about, Foxy No Tail? I'll tell you, my Australian friend. If you used to watch my old Java Survival series from many, 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 many moons ago, I used to have a tree of life. In every episode, I would go along and I would put a sign on the tree of life with somebody's name on it out of my YouTube comments, somebody that said something nice about me and things like that. And uh, it was very popular. Everybody wanted me to do it. When I started my Bedrock Realm, everybody asked me for me to do it again. And I thought, no, I don't want it in two series. So now that my other Java Survival world is completely gone, I'm going to be doing something similar in this world. But I'm not going to do a tree. I'm going to do a ship, because everyone said, well, now that we've got the new aquatic update, why don't you do something, a, a ship of life or something like that? And I thought, that's a really good idea. Now, the problem is, lots and lots of people do do pirate ships in Minecraft. Um, they're a bit common, they're a bit, I'd say, probably getting a bit stale, a bit boring. So I thought I'd spice it up a bit by adding a little desert island, and I'm going to have the ship here, and it's going to have sort of crashed or parked up by this desert island and we're going to have the people going into this secret cave and at the bottom of this cave there's going to be all sorts of treasure and what I want to do is I want to use marmot marmot stands? I want to use armor stands with mob heads like cows and pigs and sheep and creepers and all that sort of stuff to make it look like pirates are getting off the boat and back on the boat unloading treasure and every episode when I call out someone's name rather than just writing a sign down I'm going to stick them down as an armor stand with a mob head on so that's the idea so I built this desert island and I've been a little bit busy outside the episode, so I've built this, and I've also got myself a really nice axe and pickaxe, and I've been back to the gold farm to get some more XP, and I've managed to get some more emeralds using my sugarcane farm to get mending on both of those. And one of those things is going to come in very handy in just a second, and that is going to be the shovel, because I need to go and get a load of gravel. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to mine underwater. Oh, you, these boats are rubbish. I did perfectly earlier. <laughs> Yeah, um, rather than just going and doing it and running out of breath all the time, I've also done some dodgy deals with uh, Bounty Hunter to, in order to get some Prisma in, and they weren't dodgy. I paid legitimately for these. I've got two Hearts of the Seas from earlier on in the series where I uncovered them from buried treasure. I've got some Nautilus shells that I got from someone else as a free gift. So I'm going to make some conduits. And if we look in this box as well, I got another present at the beginning of this episode. Yay, presents! And uh, Jedi Fireflies come and give me an entire box full of fireworks, which is amazing. So we, uh, yeah, we're not short of gunpowder and fireworks now, especially because we've got a sugarcane farm. So flying is not going to be an issue for us for a long, 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 long time. So I'm going to need some buckets of water, and my first idea is to, in the little cave that I've made, for the like the treasure room downstairs underneath it, although it is surrounded by water and an ocean, I'm going to fill it up with water and I'm going to put a conduit inside the cave and then put like the treasure as underneath it. So I've dug out this sort of area here, and this is where I got down to building all this. And if you're wondering, you know, why it's all janky like that, it's supposed to look like a secret rundown old cave. I quite like the look of it. I think I've done a pretty good job, to be fair. Val did come along and uh, offer a little bit of advice on it all, which was nice to have some help with that. And yeah, I thought this area here, we're going to get rid of the granite and stuff like that and sort of build almost like a, we're going to waterlog the thing and put the conduit in here so that it'll stretch all the way around the islands. Oh, I've had an idea. I've had an idea what I'm thinking of doing. And this is, uh, this is I think this idea has come from when I used to play Ark Survival Evolved. At one point, there were these uh, artifacts in the game where you had to swim underground through these long tunnels and you would pop up the other side uh, and into like a, a dry area and that's where your your treasure would be so what I'm going to do is I'm going to waterlog this little area here which is where the conduit is going to be and I'm going to have a, like a an area underneath that you can swim down and then pop up the other side and that's where the, the secret treasure is going to be so let's uh, let's do that then I'm not going to go crazy with it it's not going to be like a really long tunnel it's only just going to go up into this little section next to it where I was digging before 
Okay, so this is going to be the little area where you come through. This is the tunnel I've dug, which is going to be full of water. So you're going to come through here and you're going to come in here and this is where the treasure's going to be. I don't know what treasure that's going to be yet, but this is the tunnel that we're going to swim through. And on the other side is where we were before. And I've just basically put loads of cobble and all sorts of that sort of stuff down just to make it look a little bit more messy. Now I need to fill it up with water and also add the conduit in. I think I'm going to try and squeeze the conduit down there somewhere. Okay, so now we've got water all the way through. I've also added like a little waterfall thing here for a bit of an effect. I have tried to get rid of the water streams, but this keep coming back. And I don't know if that's to do with, um, yeah, the blocks. I don't know, I keep getting rid of them and they keep coming back. Anyway, yeah, that's that. But we do need some lighting under the water. We need some lighting in here. So I'm thinking of sea pickles. So I've got some somewhere. I don't know which box they're in, but I've got a load of them somewhere. So I'm going to go find them and then I'm going to come back and we're going to do that. There we go. That looks a lot better. It's not too dim in here. It's got a nice sort of level of brightness. And if we swim down there through our secret cave into here, we get the secret treasure room. And I've no idea what I'm going to put in here yet. Today, my main concern is that pirate ship. And I've been playing doing this bit so far. I haven't even looked at a pirate ship yet. The other thing I wanted to do is I just want to chuck a couple of vines around the place in here. Uh, just to make it look a little bit more run down with some vines as well. So I'll pop those in there and they'll start to grow. Right, that's all the prismen in place. We just need to drop on the conduit there. There we go. That's nice and bright. That should give us full power, which it has done. Now we can see and breathe underwater, which is amazing. That's really brightened everything up. Probably a little bit too much, to be honest. But that's okay. It doesn't matter too much. Let's just... Can we... Yeah, bone meal on the top of that. Let's just make this conduit look a little bit... A little bit more run down as well. And maybe we can... I don't know. Add something around it just to make it not look quite as... Uh, yeah, bright and... And happy! It's supposed to be a dingy, dull cave. That actually looks, doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Maybe what if I get rid of that torch? That's quite a nice look, actually, without that torch. Let's get rid of that altogether, then. Yeah, that's got a very nice light to it, that. So as we go down here, we can see very well. We can breathe. We don't have to worry about losing our breath. And we come into this area here, which I need to get rid of that torch. That's not supposed to be in here. And that's, that's nice and dim as well, but not too dark, I don't think. I think mobs probably will spawn in here, though. Um, so I don't know what we need to do that. Maybe we could put the chuck head in here. I don't know, but we're going to leave this for now. We're not doing this anymore. We've got our conduit power. That's what I wanted. Now we're going to start working on our pirate ship. Okay, as much as I said I'm going to start working on the pirate ship, now that I've got conduit power under the water, I think it's about time I got some of this gravel because I need to stock up on my gravel supplies. I don't need it for this build. But I've been looking forward to doing this, and underwater mining with an efficiency 5 shovel. Oh, it's just heaven. Heaven, I can breathe, I can see, and I can get rid of all this nasty, horrible kelp. And yes, I know all the items are floating to the surface, but it really doesn't matter because I can just go up and swim and get them in a minute. This is amazing. I can get clay, I can get sand so much easier now. Oh, this is loads better. Kelp looks pretty good when it's at random heights, but when it all grows to the top of the surface, it just looks weird. So I'm going to completely get rid of all the kelp from the area around here that's growing naturally in the ocean, and I'm going to replace it. I'm going to do, just sort of throw loads of bone meal down instead. In my personal opinion, and this is just my personal opinion, you don't have to share it, it doesn't necessarily have to be right, but I think... I think they should make it so you don't get dolphins grace unless you feed the dolphins or do something with a dolphin because it's actually quite off-putting suddenly getting a speed boost in the water when you're not expecting it, especially when you're trying to mine or when you're trying to work or when you're just trying to collect your items. It's really, really annoying all of a sudden going really fast, especially if you've got Depth Strider 3 boots on. So they should either make it not quite as OP when you're wearing Depth Strider or... They should, uh, they should make it so you have to interact with the dolphins in some way before you actually get the speed boost. That's just my personal opinion. You know, not everyone's going to feel the same way. But in the way I play the game, I don't like suddenly being affected by something that I'm not expecting. There we go. I'm out of bone meal. And I've done a little bit around the island, as you can see. And I think it adds a little bit to it. It probably needs tidying up, Whoa, tidying up a bit. But yeah, I think that looks pretty good. 
The kelp just sort of takes over the ocean and makes the oceans look almost sort of sewagey and green. So around this island now, it actually looks like just nice clear water. You can still see underneath it. You can still see the foliage and the, the different textures. I think it looks a lot better. Well, I've got no real plan for this. Originally, I was just gonna have it almost crashing into the desert island and like fire all over and it wrecked and broken and things like that. But I don't think that's such a good idea now. What I quite like the idea of is having it sort of parked out over there, we're sort of like roughly where that squid is, and having some like little boats like we've got over here coming across as if they were the pirates that were coming to plunder the shore. Um, why they would come to this tiny little island instead of all the other islands, I don't know. Obviously, it's a treasure island because we've got the, like the cool cave and all that sort of stuff on it.
Okay, so that was four hours and 20 minutes of recording and it's not finished. It's nowhere near finished, but I've got the main bulk of what I to get done. I've added a little bit of decoration just to give you an idea of the sorts of things we can add on here. And that took a long time and I'm going to fly around it. And I didn't plan this. I didn't have any sort of sketches or ideas to go by. I completely did it by feel and there's a load of dirt there that I've missed to get rid of. But yeah, um, it's I like it. I think it's okay. I think the back's probably a little bit high, but I quite like that. Um, I, I um, originally did the front flat and then I thought it'd be really cool if it was curved up like a proper pirate ship or a galleon or whatever you want to call it. Uh, obviously I've done the um, the masts, but I've got no wool yet. There, although there is a sheep farm on the server, but it's going to cost a lot of wool to get some sails done. But I think it looks great. A lot more de detail needs to be added. These flat, horrible spruce walls are way too... Oh, whoa, I've fallen in. Help, let me out. Yeah, the, the flat spruce walls at the back and down the sides need some something. They need a bit more decoration in the captain's quarters at the back, which we'll try and get in this way. Um, at the moment, there's nothing in here. Obviously, we've got a nice big glass window. I was leaving this open so we could have sort of a balcony over the back, which I thought would be quite cool. And let me just get rid of this dirt while I'm in here. But yeah, we could probably have more windows in the sides as well, just to, uh, just to break that big spruce wall up. And on the inside of the boat, it's still full of water. I've done some stairs down, and I don't know if I added the video or a little clip of me being blown up by a creeper. This place, before I light it, lit it up, was absolutely full of mobs. We must have had about 10 skeletons, about 5 creepers, and some zombies, and some spiders. And it was, uh, yeah, they got me. They killed me. And I don't know what's happening here because I haven't put any stairs there. They're, they're supposed to be slabs. And obviously working in the water is an absolute pain. It is so difficult to actually work in the water, especially when the dolphins are around. Again, in the time lapse, you might have seen it, but I was actually killing off the dolphins because every time I was dropping the items, they were coming by, moving my items about, which I needed because I don't have too much wood left. And I thought I was going to run out. And then they were the, giving me the speed boost and everything. It was driving me nuts. So I got rid of it in the end. Right, okay, in order to get the water out of the bottom of that thing, we're going to have to use some sponges, and it just so happens that I ha I included a way to make sponges in my data pack, because sponges are really difficult to get unless you're near an ocean monument, and all the ocean monuments anywhere near where we are have been taken up by the, uh, the other players on the realm. So I've made it so you can put horn coral blocks, which is the yellow stuff, around a bucket and that will give you a sponge. And now we've only got two, so we're going to need some more coral blocks. And they're not too difficult to get because there is an ocean over there. But let's go see if this makes a big mess of the boat or not. And you might just notice I've done a couple of bits here. I've made like a little jetty or platform that the, um, the pirates are coming across. And I've also put some ladders here on some stripped spruce blocks which look good and I also put some dried kelp blocks around the place because I think they could look a little bit like chests as well so it's coming together Chuck's here now he's going to be keeping guard on the ship making sure no mob spawn and if we go inside of pole ducks or the captain's quarters we'll find pole duck in here and I've moved all of his treasure as well just so we know how much stuff we've got so if we go down into the bottom of the boat and uh, drop one of these sponges down. My concern is it's going to actually take water away from outside of the boat as well, but we'll find out. So let's plop it down, I don't know, about there. Wow. Oh, and it's immediately filled back in again. That's not ideal. Uh, I don't know if it'll fill in from inside because the water's touching these slabs. And if we look outside, uh, it's not made too much of a mess. It has the waterlogged slabs and things have become unwaterlogged, but that's going to happen anyway because... Those slabs are only one block thick, and I know that sounds daft, but um, yeah, if they're, wa if they're waterlogged on the inside, they're going to be waterlogged on the outside as well. So we're going to have to just have it looking a little bit weird from underneath. Right, I've got just over two stacks. That'll do me. Let's go home if we can. I love the fact that you can take off from the water in Java Edition. That's uh, a massive help when it comes to flying your Elytra. I got quite a lot of coral that time, which is pretty good. And I got 16 sponges now, which is amazing. Right, I'm going to put these dry kelp blocks in my furnace for fuel, because that ran out of fuel earlier. It was smelting away and it completely ran out, so I filled it up again. Right, we've got 16 sponges. How far along this thing can we get with 16? Are you ready? Let's just keep walking backwards, and hopefully the water won't flow back into itself. Hmm. 
Not bad, sort of. It's made a bit of a weird shape. But I don't think that was too bad. What's the best thing for picking sponges up? Is it a pickaxe? There we go. That's the whole thing empty, which didn't take too long, to be honest. Hopefully that'll uh, not have completely ruined the ocean outside. And I'm going to have to sort these stairs out now that there's no water there because they just look a bit weird. So down below here, I'm actually considering splitting this into two floors. Um, what I've done is I've actually cleared out some more of the wood that was on the inside that we didn't need, which will make the lighting issue a bit weirder on the outside, but that doesn't matter too much. But I'm thinking if we have like cannons about this level here, so they're looking out that way, then we could have a floor at this level and we should still be able to get underneath it. Yeah, we will be able to down here. We won't be able to on that bit there, but that doesn't matter too much. Well, I think I've been talking to myself again. I think I've forgotten to record a couple of clips. All I've been working on at the moment is the uh, these little sort of cannon holes at the sides. So what I've done is I've added another different colored strip to the boat with oak instead of spruce. And I've added these sort of port holes at the side, which you can obviously flip open and close. And that's where, if you like, the cannons would go. And I was just toying with the idea of putting these down the side as well, just for a little bit more decoration. Although the dolphins are nicking all of my stuff that I drop in the water. It's really hard to place the stuff in the water. While, you, while you're bobbing up and down, you often place a trapdoor in the wrong place. And then you break it off and the dolphins come and nick it off you because they're just annoying and they're completely pointless and don't help you at all in the game whatsoever. Ah, oh, but they tell you to bury treasure. No, they're annoying. The other thing that I find incredibly frustrating is when something drops in the water, it has to go all the way to the bottom before it comes back up again. I don't understand it. In the ocean, it should just float at the top, surely. But it doesn't. It, see, I'll, you'll see in a second. They'll drop these trapdoors. They'll drop into the water. And watch this. They have to go all the way to the bottom before they start floating up again. It's really annoying. So that's why the dolphins get them, because they don't come to me. They go to the bottom, the dolphins pick them up and start shifting them, shifting them about. It's a nice feature, this bobbing up and down. But when you're in the swimming pool, do you come, in out, do you come out the water by a, by a meter? Look at how much I'm going, and my half of my body is coming in and out of the water every time I bob, which in Minecraft is a meter every time. It's ridiculous. Just a little bit of a bob would be fine. I have misplaced nearly every single one of these trapdoors, and it is driving me nuts. Why does it bob so high? Like, you know how on ladders, if you hold shift, you can crouch on the ladder? That would be really useful if you could do that in the water, because this... This is just ridic ridiculous. Look, oh man, I didn't want to place any of those there. Stop it, I'm clicking at the right time, but I don't know whether it's just delay because it's on the server or what, when it actually places, but everything's placing in the wrong place. I hope this looks good when I finish, because I've had enough. I have had enough of losing trapdoors when they get stuck up there like that. I've had enough of it all floating to the bottom and the dolphins nicking it. I don't want to play swimming in the water anymore. I even tried doing it in a boat and the boat was pain in the bum. Right, that is it. And it looks okay. The back of the boat still needs a lot of work. The, the sides, I think, look good. I think the sides of the boat look a lot better now. I don't know whether I prefer the trap door, the, the portholes open or closed. Probably open, to be fair. Yeah, I think that adds a layer of detail that is needed for that boat because there's so much spruce, there's so many big flat spruce services. And now we still need to do something up here. We could maybe have some sort of emblem or the skull and crossbones logo or something like that on that spruce or even put some windows in or something else. But I think those look good. I think they add something to it. So let's go downstairs and open the portholes and then we can uh, yeah see what it looks like properly from the outside. And it's much, much lighter inside now we've got all of this as well. Yeah, I think that looks better with them all open like that. Although you don't normally have them open unless you're actually going to be firing on someone with your cannons, but maybe they're firing at somebody on the island. Maybe there's someone on there they don't like very much. But yeah, I think that looks pretty good. But I'm happy with it overall. I think it's coming together really nicely. I'm very impressed with it. Wow, it is, it is big. Even stood right back here at my base, it looks big. <laughs> So on that note, I'm going to say thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do please leave a like. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!